But let me get two quarter pounders with cheese. That's all I want. Top of the morning. It's your boy, Brunel Jones II, and I'm back with another episode of what it's like being a musician in New York City. So, I got a stacked day today, and I'm about to tell you about it. First thing I got to do is go to the studio and finish this album, basically. I know I said that the album is finished with the exception of the mixing and mastering session, but we have one song that I got to do some edits on, and then the mixing and mastering session is tomorrow. So, got to do that. Afterwards, got to go to the gym. You already know. Y'all know that we have to go to the gym every episode. Come on now. We got to get right. And then, after that, I have to drive all the way to Long Island once again to do a wedding gig. Now... I know I don't have any episodes where I'm driving to Long Island doing wedding gigs, but also I don't document every single gig I got. I do a lot of weddings in Long Island, so it's just another day, another dollar. Thank you everybody for submitting questions from the last video for this video's Q&A section, which will be at the end of the video. If you don't remember in the last video, I asked everybody to submit questions via my Instagram and you started off with Q&A, and then you ask a question, and then I try my best to answer a few of them at the end of each video. I'm gonna keep that going. So if I don't answer your question in this video, keep submitting them, and you're likely to have your question answered in the next video. Now, as far as music music, my band is performing at Smalls Jazz Club April 10th at 10.30 p.m. and at midnight, two sets, and the midnight set turns into a jam session. So if you're a musician, and you have your instrument or you play an instrument, come by, listen to some great music, and then play some music with us. And if you're just a music lover who doesn't play anything, still come because you get to hear all of my original music and we're doing nothing but my original music. Come support your boy for that. I have nothing more to say. Let's get to this day. <laughs> what am I doing, bro? <laughs> all right, it's morning. Loading up the car before this recording session. Got the suit in there. Yep, it's about to be a long day. I'm excited for the gym though, doing chest today. So I got my pre-workout, my tripod, everything. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. I'm pretty sure I triple checked. I got everything that I need. Let's go. We're in the studio now, getting it done. I'll put the music in the background. Oh. All right, we're about to get yeah, the singer. You ear. feel me? Oh, that's crazy. Ow. Oh, that's the, uh, <laughs> it's the headphones. Okay. All right, bye. All right, so we're at the gym. If you've seen the last episode, you'll recall that in the episode, I talked about how I joined a new gym twice. You know, basically for the longest time, I was at one gym, then I joined a new one. And about a month later, I joined this one because this one's better. It has all this other stuff that I like. But also the best part about it, it has a parking lot. It has a parking lot in New York. The other ones, I have to find a random spot on the street, sometimes an illegal parking spot, but we have parking. Let's go in. Gym right quick. There's a lot. It has everything and it also has the power lifting area and the comp racks and the kilo plates, everything. The biggest gym I've ever been to in New York. These are way too heavy. <laughs> Alright, I just finished my workout. It's surprisingly not cold today, especially with the sun out. It's really feeling like spring. Time to get ready to drive to Long Island for this wedding gig. And by the way, it's one of those DJ and sax gigs. 
honestly i don't like those that that much but you know they're definitely worth it monetarily so do what you gotta do making bad choices right now but i've been meal prepping the, the past few weeks and i didn't grab my bowl of chicken and rice and etc that i normally meal prep so guess we gotta stop at mcdonald's because regardless i gotta get all my calories in for this bulk which has been going a long time all right uh let me get two quarter pounders with cheese that's all i want just the sandwiches just two quarter pounders just the sandwich right yes sir and what else that'll be it You're awesome. finally made it i need to change because i'm still in my gym clothes i i got here 40 minutes before i need to be here so that's obviously plenty of time i really wish i could take a nap but nah but here we go and that's the dj company i work with we're on our way to this little tiny place it seems all right we're getting everything set up apparently the ceremony was in here so we had to break down real quick and then set everything up for the reception yeah now we just about set up we got another saxophonist yeah tell him tell him <laughs> there we go Ready to have a good time? Can you make some noise? So what I need everyone to do is get those hands clapping today. They got the nice food. This guy is singing. Oh, baby, won't you see? Well, let us stay. Come on, play that. Yeah. You know, I said this in an earlier episode, like probably one of the first few episodes, I honestly don't remember, but I am very thankful for these wedding gigs because it's very common for people to tip at wedding gigs and i'm not gonna get to it but all i'm gonna say is the tip tonight was nice so uh time to go back home i'm sleepy thank the lord it is late at night i found a parking, parking spot in my neighborhood so it is time for me to go to bed i'm signing out for the night and then i'll answer some questions peace all right everybody i'm back and before we get to the end of the video I'm going to answer the questions submitted by you, the viewers. So, first question. First off, I want to say I love your YouTube videos. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Y'all don't even understand. I only recently started doing this YouTube vlog a few months ago, so I love the love. Um, what, in your opinion, is the best and most effective way to improve on the saxophone? More specifically, what can I do to improve my technique? That's a pretty broad question, but... I'm gonna say something that applies to all instruments without getting too deep into it. First thing you wanna do, sorry, my cat is right here making a lot of noise. I, 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 you see her just laying down, making noise, disturbing me. First thing you wanna do is come up with a consistent practice routine. Ideally, you wanna do five to six days a week, maybe two to three hours a day. Now, I know people are busy and you might not be able to manage that, so try to do something as close to that as possible. Having consistent practice will get you more comfortable with your instrument and get you more consistent in your playing. Second, fundamentals. Fundamentals are the most important thing because they translate to everything. You want to be able to play all your scales, all 12 keys, all majors, minors. If you do jazz, you want to be able to do your modes like Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, mixolydian etc be able to practice those at all varying tempos also practicing the music that you want to play that's important it'll improve your sound and it'll improve you as a musician second question any thoughts on the best colleges for jazz performance in the u.s berkeley versus manhattan school of music versus juilliard etc love your videos by the way thank you so much <laughs> thank you so this is a complicated question because i'm gonna start it off with both routes whether that's going to school or not going to school work differently for different people now as far as just the prestigious schools i'm going to tell you straight up 
Prestigious schools do not matter. What does matter is going to a school that will get you in the scene that you want to be in and studying with a teacher that will get you to where you want to be. So if you want to get into like the songwriting, producing thing, if you want to have the chance to play alongside, you know, celebrity artists, maybe Berkeley might be the route because I'm not saying Berkeley is the only way to get there. But Berkeley, I know I know a lot of people have gone to Berkeley. I know it helps you get that edge to be able to do those type of things, get you the right connection for that. But with that being said, you don't have to go to Berkeley to get in that world. I personally went to Manhattan School of Music for a semester and a half. Didn't enjoy it. I don't really like music school that much. And I also went to, before that, I went to University of Tennessee. And University of Tennessee isn't a prestigious music school. But the teachers who were there got me right, set me on the right path. I studied with Greg Tardy, which saxophonist, if you don't know Greg Tardy, look him up because, come on, you need to know Greg Tardy. Prestigious, world-renowned. Also, Donald Brown was there. Who, if you don't know Donald Brown, come on, look him up. Wonderful jazz pianist. He was a jazz messenger. Um, studying with those people, even though it wasn't a, at a prestigious school, got me the knowledge and insight that I needed to become a better player and also to learn how to listen to music and, and so on and so forth. And specifically, Greg Tardy, I grew up in I grew up in Memphis. I grew up around the church. I grew up learning music by ear when it comes to playing saxophone a lot. I do have the ability to read music, but I tend to learn better by ear. And Greg Tardy, when I took lessons from him, he I remember he gave me and those and all those years I took lessons with him, he gave me one sheet of paper. You know, he teaches by ear, he teaches the right way. So going to a school that benefits what you want to do is the most important. If that's Berkeley, let it be Berkeley or Juilliard. If it's the university community college of the middle of nowhere tech institute, <laughs> then that's what it is. Third question. As a saxophonist, what gym exercises really help you out with your performance? Don't worry, I'm not making fun of you. I'm just a goofy person. They don't really correlate. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Whether you can squat 500 pounds or are completely out of shape, and can barely walk, you can still play saxophone. Hey, what's up? I, I'm curious about the difference in the jazz jam scene in Brooklyn versus Manhattan, and do you mainly drive to gigs within the city, or do you ever use public transit? Thanks. You're welcome. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I don't hang in Brooklyn often. I've gone to a few jams in Brooklyn, but it's a jam session, so it's the same. I will say Brooklyn and Manhattan are both huge. It's as if they're different cities, because you know what? I know a lot of cats like me, who, if they're working in New York, they work specifically in Manhattan. Most of my work is in Manhattan. I do one to five gigs a year in Brooklyn. I barely work in Brooklyn. There are cats in Brooklyn who, I, every time I see their gig flyers, they're always playing in Brooklyn, always playing in Brooklyn. The cool thing about New York is that there's plenty of work and plenty of jazz jams in both boroughs. Now, as far as do I drive to gigs or use public transit, uh, I do whatever the, whatever's the most convenient. I typically don't like to use public transit, specifically because it's unreliable in New York City. I mean, there's always subway delays. There might be delays, so you might be on the train and might stop in the middle of the route because of construction. And trains have made me late to gigs a few times, even though I've left at a good time. Now, yes, there's traffic in New York City, but I'm going to keep it above with you. As being somebody who's done both subway and driving, I think driving is more predictable than riding the subway. Um, but also, some gigs pay for Ubers. If I can do an Uber, I'll also do that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure that you watch all the other videos in this series. Um, once again, I'm playing at Smalls Jazz Club on April 10th if you want to come and show out. Thank you very much, and peace.